hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video if you're returning thank you so much for your support and if you're new thank you so much for checking my channel out my name is Vanessa I make natural hair videos including lots of DIY to help us grow healthy strong natural hair so if this kind of content interests you be sure to click the subscribe button and become a member of the family now let's get into today's video guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to make aloe vera gel step by step it's very 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 easy and straightforward so if you're interested be sure to stick around now you are going to need an aloe vera plant because it's the main ingredient you know for this DIY pretty much um, if you haven't got the plant that's fine I'll there's a link in my description box you can just click that and buy it off Amazon I got mine from an Afro-Caribbean food store where I live if you live in the UK there are lots of them you can find them wherever you live and just buy it from there I'm sure you can find it in other parts of the world as well if you're not in the UK but if not that's fine like I said I've got a link in my description box so just click that and you should be able to get your hands on a plant now to uh, make the gel you need to cut a part of the aloe vera plant that you're going to need now the amount that you cut will depend on how much gel you want to make you can use the whole plant if you want to use if you want to make more gel if that makes sense so i just started to cut a small portion of it here then went ahead and rinsed it off just to remove you know dirt and impurities from the skin and then I decided to just cut into small pieces again just so that it's easier for me to work with then I removed the sharp edges and then cut in the middle then you want to use a spoon at this point just to scoop the flesh of the aloe vera out because this is what we're going to um, get the gel out of okay now I get lots of questions in my videos uh, especially when I do when I use aloe vera juice or gel as part of a DIY people always ask me whether they can actually um, buy the one that they sell from the store and the answer to that is yes you can certainly do that I prefer to make mine from scratch just because I know exactly what's in it um, I know it's a hundred percent natural not to say that the one you get from the store is not but sometimes what they put on the label is not necessarily entirely true okay it's not necessarily always what's in it the mass is 100 percent aloe vera gel but it has other stuff in it that they probably haven't mentioned okay so that's why i prefer to just make my own stuff because i know exactly what's in it i know it's fresh and i know i can benefit from all of the in, um, natural sort of uh, nutrients that the plant has um so that's why i love DIYing pretty much you know when it comes to my natural hair I buy stuff from the store as well but I prefer to just do it this way like I said because you know of all those reasons now aloe vera is really really good for hair growth guys because of its amazing benefits but also it's very very versatile which means that you can use it in so many different ways you know and get amazing results so that's why I really love to use aloe vera it's just amazing for that reason once I finish sort of scooping the flesh of the aloe vera, I just transfer it into a sieve and I'm just going to go ahead now and squeeze the flesh just to get the gel out of it, okay? Um, so this can be a little bit lengthy, so just be a little bit patient as you're doing this because the gel is actually a little bit slow to come through the other end. So squeeze that, you know, and then I decided at this point that I was actually going to use a spoon just to crush the uh, flesh onto the sieve just to get most of the gel out of it pretty much um, so like I said you just need to be patient once I finish doing that guys I actually just let the sieve sit on top of the bowl okay for a little while and the 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 gel just literally just you know slipped into the bowl by itself and then i was done pretty much um so this is what you end up with you don't have to throw this away guys you can actually use uh, keep it to use it for another diy if you want to um so yeah or you can throw it away it depends on you now i just decided to transfer that um gel into a spray bottle just so that it's easier for me to use it um, so that's pretty much it very simple isn't it like 
very very easy and straightforward so that's the gel ready for you guys you can now use this however you want you can use it as a pre pre treatment you can use it as a leave-in conditioner a detangler as part of another diy um so basically anything really um i'm going to use this in this video as a pre pre treatment now pre pooing is actually really good at you know um preventing your uh, hair from getting completely stripped of its moisture after shampooing you know shampooing your hair can actually get rid of you know all your natural oils and that can leave your hair kind of very dry after shampooing which means it could make detangling a little bit difficult and cause more breakage and things like that so pre is actually really good at you know preventing that from happening or maybe reducing the uh, consequences of shampooing so that's what i love i love to pre poo before i actually go ahead and shampoo now the other benefits of pre poo includes you know uh, making your hair look kind of shiny and uh, like i said before easy to detangle afterwards and it also helps you lock the moisture in your hair um which is actually a really really good thing so i'm now going ahead here and applying the um the gel to my hair guys this was a wash day a, a wash day and I just decided to, like I said, use that as a pre poo. So, yeah, I'm just applying that to my hair here, starting from my ends and then working my way through. So, you want to make sure that you know you massage the gel onto your hair really, really well so that you know the hair can actually absorb the nutrients of the aloe vera. And you can actually put this on your scalp as well, guys. It is really, really good at promoting hair growth, aloe vera. So, that's why every time you use aloe vera it's always better you use it on your scalp as well because that's where our hair grows from um so massage that in nicely so once i finish doing that guys i'm now going to go ahead and twist that section and then move on to the next section and repeat for the rest of my hair pretty much has been found to be really good for hair growth guys because of its amazing content like it's high in vitamins also essential amino acids now amino acids are basically the building blocks of protein and we know our hair is made of a protein called keratin so um that's what some people actually find that you know when they use aloe vera it dries their hair out it's probably protein overload because there there are actually some protein in aloe vera um but essentially protein is not necessarily a bad thing because it makes your hair stronger uh, but if you do have an adverse reaction from using aloe vera it's definitely worth stopping it and just trying another um ingredient pretty much so just stay away from it um, but in most cases aloe vera works for the majority of the people okay now it also has minerals such as copper and zinc and these are important ingredients for hair growth now studies have actually found that a diet deficient in zinc can actually cause excessive uh, shedding okay that's why you know some women after childbirth experience excessive amount of postnatal shedding um so and research i've actually found that if perhaps our diet is high enough in zinc you know we shouldn't experience it you know really really badly um so zinc is actually an amazing uh, component if you're trying to stop your hair from falling out make sure that you eat things that are high in zinc i've got a video on here where i talk about you know foods that contain all of these ingredients so not in this sorry not ingredients all of these vitamins or minerals so i'm going to link it somewhere up here for you guys in case you want to check it out now aloe vera also has uh, plant steroids and fatty acids which are basically uh, moisturizing so that's why it's just so good for hair growth as a whole so if you are certainly looking to grow healthy hair I would, I would say to you definitely consider you know incorporating aloe vera into your hair regimen if you're not allergic to it okay if you're not allergic and if your hair is not having a bad reaction from using it 
Now once I finished putting that on my hair guys, I just decided to put a plastic bag on. If you actually got an actual heat cap, this would be perfect, okay? But a plastic bag does the exact same job. So I let that sit for about one hour and then I went ahead and decided and just washed the hair pretty much. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like after one hour of the aloe vera sitting in my hair. Now it felt really, really nice and soft here, really nice and moisturized. And I was really, really happy with that because that's what I wanted to achieve, moisture. And yeah, I was able to get that. So it was really, really good. I was just amazed at how moisturized my health felt. Like it was just so good, like so good to the touch. But it was such a shame I had to wash this out because, you know, my hair was dirty. It was a wash day. Um, so yeah really really good some people wonder if they can actually dip condition with this overnight like you know people overnight yes you can do that um you can leave it on uh, in your hair overnight and then wash it in the morning and it will even be better because then you'll be able to benefit from you know all of the goodness of from the aloe vera pretty much um so yeah i just decided to retrace my hair into smaller uh, twist just because my hair usually unravels when I shampoo it um, so this was just basically to stop that from happening so I just went ahead guys and shampooed my hair and yeah that's kind of pretty much it from this video so this is what my hair looked like after shampooing nice and soft as you can see it had a lot of you know bounce to it um, so not dry at all pretty much and I was really happy with it so this is it from me today guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video bye